Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a quick mould of dice. Now, I've had these ones that I've not had very much success with, which is the ones where you have them like this, the numbers are on them, and then you pop the bit in the top like so. And I, I always find that these don't work out very well and give you a difficult mould, which is this one. This is the oddest shape one out of them all. I've got this one here, which is a very different mold. It's a very flexible silicon. And I'm going to see how well that one comes out too, as well as the square one as well. So I should put the lid on the square one. I've got my resin mixed up, so I'm gonna put my resin in now, and then we'll see which one comes out best. And what I've got to mention was, this one alone was 17 pounds. And this set, I think of eight, was about five pounds so there's a considerable difference in the value of these molds so what i'm doing is i'm just filling them up using a pipette because i want to get as much in there as possible i don't want to end up with lots of air bubbles in there which is a risk to take to be honest with all these molds so I feel that that is filled up now. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna let that settle and just tap it a little bit to try and get as much out of it as I possibly can. I'm just gonna fill the others up in exactly the same way by popping that in there and then just filling it up. This square one is quite a lot larger than the others. So this one is going to take a bit more time Right, there we go. That is now full. I'm gonna let that ooze out as much as it wants to. There we go, that's a little bit messy, but then I am messy. Let's wipe that up. And what we'll do is we'll leave those to cure now. And I'm going to leave those for a full 24 hours. I'm not gonna even attempt to demold those before a full 24 hours is up because I don't want to mess them up in any way, shape or form if they're still a little bit soft. These have all cured now and I left them for two days. Because I wanted to make sure that they were fully cured so I didn't change the shape. And look, this is exactly what I thought would happen. There was air trapped underneath it. And as a result, we've got a full air bubble there. Now, fortunately, the number can be seen. So that could actually be filled quite easily by popping that back in the mould and just filling it up with some more resin. But again, a little disappointing. Although I do like the actual dice shape itself. So... Let's see what this one came out like. Yeah, that's got a little air bubble on it as well. Although I do think that has come out a little bit better than the other one. Although it does have a little air bubble there that we would have to fill and these little bits that we would have to trim off. So now let's look at this mold. And this mold is designed so that you need to tape it up or put something on it to stop it splitting open because it has actually got a little split in it to enable you to get the, the dye out of the resin, out of the mould. Now, this one has come out much better. Look how nice and clear those numbers are. So I could have done that as uh, it's curing, as resin does shrink back. But overall, I think that that is a much better result much cleaner much nicer so it just goes to show that the more expensive mold in fact does produce better dice